to our YouTube channel. I hope so you all are doing well. So on your demand, uh, today I am going to solve the biology exam. OCR biology, A level biology. That exam was held on 16 October 2020. So uh, without wasting time, let's go to the section 1 that contain MCQs. There are 15 MCQs and you have a time of 20 minutes. So let's go. So this is the question number one in which we have to see which of the following human diseases from A to D is caused by a fungus. So first disease is influenza that is caused by virus, influenza virus. Second malaria it is caused by protist and plasmodium is its species. And tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium as you know that. So only left option is option A. Uh, athlete foot is caused by fungi. So this is the right option. Now let's move to the next question. Which of the following plant disease from A to B is caused by path pathogen from kingdom protoxista? So look at the disease. Diseases one by one. Black cigatoka in banana is caused by fungi. So this wouldn't be our correct option. Uh, ring rot in tomato is caused by clavibacter. So again this is not our correct option. Tobacco mosaic disease is caused by tobacco mosaic virus. So again this is our this is not our correct option. So tomato late blight is caused by protist and that protest protist is P infestant. So our correct option now is option number D. So now let's move to the next question. Question number 3. Which of the following statements from A to D is not true? Uh, keep in mind that we have to guess the statement that is not correct about RBCs. First option RBCs are produced from stem, stem cells, so it is correct. So this uh, this is true option, this is not correct option. Just because RBCs are really made from stem cells. Next, they are produced in bone marrow, yes, exactly. So it can't be, we take it correct. So RBCs are specialized cells, exactly RBCs are specialized cells. They have function in transportation of oxygen to every cell of the body. So the correct option is they undergo mitosis. You know RBCs are formed from uh, stem cells and after mitosis in stem cells they will go to genot phase. After going genot phase they stop going mitosis. So this is our correct option in which we have to choose which one is not correct, not true. Let's see question number 4 and 5 and this is a diagram of human blood. So what we have to guess is which of the blood components labeled from A to D shows lymphocyte. So you can see that these small cells are RBCs and this is a parasite and this one must be some infected blood cell and you know that this D option is lymphocyte Y. Its chromatin material is stained dark that is spherical and you know that lymphocyte stain dark black color so its size is also uh, matching to lymphocyte and also it has a spherical nucleus so we will choose option D as lymphocyte so next question is which of the following statement is evidence that trypanosoma is eukaryote but is trypanosoma the cell label E shows parasite called trypanosoma so which of the following statement is our evidence that trypanosoma is eukaryote? What is eukaryote? The cell that contains nucleus with membrane. So we have to see that which characteristics are showing that trypanosoma is, nu uh, is eukaryote. Option number one, yes, trypanosoma have nucleus. It is also showing that it is eukaryote. And its uh, cell is similar to the blood cell that is also exactly correct. So and third is they contain flagella. Exactly, trypanosoma contain flagella. 
but first two options are showing that the panosoma is eukaryote first it do have nucleus second it do have similar size to the blood cells just because prokaryotes do have smaller sizes so which option we gonna choose option one and two that is in b so b would be our correct option so now we have to do question number six plants can produce a variety of chemical in response to pathogen which of the following from a to d is produced by plants in response to pathogens whenever pathogens attack on plants plants also do uh, produce some chemicals like nol like uh, cyanide and some kind of antibacterial compounds to attack on the pathogens so that they can stay safe so the option A would be the correct. Why? Because antibodies are produced in animals. Ethylene is a fruit ripening hormone, and penicillin is produced in fungus. So that's why which option is correct? Option A. So let's go to question number seven. They are telling us scientists have pollinated some pea plants that were heterozygous. For gene controlling height, they expected three ratio one of tall plants to short plants in offspring. Hundred and one thousand forty six plants grew in next generation, and seven ninety eight were tall and two forty eight were short. Which of the following A to B is statistical test that could be used to determine if these numbers are significantly different from three ratio one? So you know that we do have one statistical test that will show the difference between expected. Ratio and observed ratio, and we have uh, learned that in our books, and that is chi square test. So option A would be correct. This is a test that will show the difference between expected ratio and observed ratio. So now we are going to the option number eight. Uh, sorry, MCQ number eight, in which we have to see that polar bears and giant pandas, pandas. Both belong to family Urosidae. Which of the following A to D is not true about the classification of polar bears and giant pandas? They each belong to different class. They each belong to different species. They each belong to same order, and they each belong to same phylum core data. So we have to mark which statement is not correct. You know this is correct. The phylum same phylum core data, same order carnivora, different species. But they do have a same class, that is mammalia. So, which one is not true? Option A. So this is our correct option, just because they do belong to the same class, and which is mammalia. So now going, we are going to option number nine. Which of the following statement is our evidence that DNA replication is semi-conservative? As you know that DNA is uh, DNA replication is semi-conservative. So option one, after one replication, the number of adenine nucleotide is equal to number of guanine nucleotide. That is not correct, as you know that adenine pair up with thymine and guanine pair up with cytosine. So this is not correct. So after two replication, two DNA molecules have one original and one new strain, and two DNA molecules have two new strains. Exactly when there is one DNA molecule that will replicate. It will form two new strands, in which one would be from parent and one is newly formed. You can see that like this, in which you can see that two new strands are formed, in which one is con one strand is conserved conserved from parent and one is new. Now look at third statement. After three replication, there are eight DNA molecules, only two of which have strands from the original DNA. Now you know that before replication, the DNA strands will be unwind. So let's look at the diagram. There would be from eight in next strands. You can see that after first replication, there would be two DNA molecules in which one one strand is from parent. After second, there would be four DNA strand molecules in which there are two strands that do not have parent DNA and two do have parent DNA. And in third. Application, you can see that eight DNA molecules are formed, in which only two strands 
two DNA molecules have parent strand. So now which option would we have to choose is option number C, two and three only. So correct option would be C. So next next question is question number ten. Which of the following reaction from A to D describe the conversion of polymer to the monomer? So let's see where is the polymer. This fatty acid and glycerol is also not polymer. Insulin is are not supposed to be polymer. Maltose is also not. So starch is a polymer that is made up of monomer like a monomer of starch is glucose. So we can see that the starch hydrolysis to glucose is polymer to monomer. So which option we gonna choose is option number D. So let's go to the MCQ number 11. Which of the following from A to D is true for competitive in enzyme inhibitor? So we have to see the option. Uh, competitive enzyme inhibitor binds to the site other than active site. This is not correct. This, uh, option A is not correct. An inhibitor, competitive inhibitor can bind irreversibly to the active site. No, it can bind irreversibly. Not it can bind reversibly. So it is not correct. So option C changes the shape of active site. This is also not correct. So effects can be overcome by adding more substrate exactly. When competitive enzyme inhibitor competes with substrate. So when we do add more substrate, so the its effect can be minimized. So correct option is G. You can see that a competitive enzyme inhibitor always compete with substrate. So you can guess the answer like this. So MCQ number 12, which of the following from A to D is not correct about adult stem cells? As you know that but stem cells are, they are undifferentiated cells that make the some cells that uh, like red blood cells are formed by stem cells. So they are found in bone marrow cells, exactly they are found in bone marrow cells. They are not specialized, this is also correct. They are totipotent. So you know that adult stem cells are not totipotent. Adult stem cells cannot be differentiated more. Just because they have already gained the shape. So the correct option would be C. So question number 13. The nitrogen cycle involves a, the nitrogen cycle involves a range of reactions and microorganisms. Which of the following process A to D usually occurs under anaerobic conditions? Option A, conversion of mino acid to ammonium compounds. No, it is not occurring in anaerobic conditions. Conversion of urea to ammonium compounds. No, it is also not occur by uh, anaerobic condition. In anaerobic condition, nitrification is also need oxygen. But nitrogen fixation, it is uh, carried out by nitrogenase in, in time. That nitrogenase enzyme is highly sensitive toward oxygen. So it, it should uh, need some anaerobic condition that is provided by a plant, leguminous family plant uh, that have legumes in their root that will provide such conditions. So that's why we will choose option number D. So nitrogen fixation is carried out in anaerobic condition in which only they have to fix nitrogen. They do not need oxygen. So MCQ is number 14. Which of the following bacteria from A to D convert ammonium compounds to nitrates? Nitrites. So you know that azotobacter do nitrogen fixation, nitrobacter also. So nitrosomenas. It is a enzyme. It is a bacteria that uh, that do uh, reaction from ammonium compound to nitrates. So we're gonna choose option C. So question number 15, the last question. Ash trees are common throughout the UK. They often grow grow in dense woodland. Where they grow dense woodland. Which of the following from A to B is an abiotic factor? Which factor we have to choose? Abiotic factor that is likely to affect the growth of young ash trees. So let's see which factor we have to choose. Abiotic and where they grow these trees in dense woodland. So the species of bacteria present in soil. This must be 
biotic factors we cannot choose it the presence of pathogen that causes ash dieback disease this is also biotic factor the availability of oxygen in the air so i think air is air do have a lot of oxygen this is the this problem is must be in aquatic environment that availability of oxygen is not proper but in air there is a lot of availability of oxygen but in dense woodland which would be a biotic factor so this must be light availability of light underneath larger trees in wood so we gonna choose option number a we completed 15 mcqs so here is the end of the video thanks for watching if you like the video do subscribe and like comment for section b keep watching our channel so take care see you in next video